All right, guys, you know, we're not really into the clear quite yet. Um, uh, we're here at home against uh, Barcelona and the league, and um, I'm not sure how this is going to go. If this is your first time uh, watching this particular series, we have a bunch of uh, legendary players, both uh, Manchester United players and players that we have signed from other teams. We are playing the World Super League add-on, which means that we're in the Superstar Premier League, and we're barely clinging on at the very top. We're six points ahead of uh, Manchester City, who keep winning. Um, we lost the last match to FC Bayern Munich, and um, it wasn't particularly close. That was a uh, match away from home. This is at home, and we'll see if we can get something better going on here. I worry because we have a lot of guys who are tired, and there's Brighton getting the ball, and that's the end of that highlight. We have players who are tired, and we have a number of players who are injured, so uh, we'll see what we can do. Messi with this. We lost, unfortunately, in the FA Cup uh, to, uh, 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 to Manchester City just a couple of days ago. Um, which means that that's another huge pot of money that we're not going to be able to get in. I have a feeling that we may end up going into administration in the end because of my uh, awful uh, management of funds. Here's Erickson over looking for Bobby Charlton, can't find him. Monseglio wins this in midfield over to Figueroa to Messi. Messi over to Jong, Jong Wuyong, and he's not got it. I thought for sure he was going to score that. It's off the post, and that's unfortunate because he was in a great position and really should have scored the goal. He does everything right. Gets himself forward in front of the defense. The keeper is off uh, balance, and he hits the post. And I would think that it would be harder to hit the post than it would be to score. But um, so it is, and uh, we have to sit back and wait just a little bit longer. Now, it's a good thing he got in that position, but that was really, really poor finishing from him. Erickson uh, just takes a shot that's off the crossbar. So we've hit the wood twice already. We're 10 or 12 minutes into the match. Monseglio wins this back from behind and uh, just misses with his shot. Now, um, uh, Araldo Monseglio is not the player that we want to be taking shots like that. We need him to slow down a little bit. Erickson with another free kick, and Ter Stegen has made a great save on that one. So uh, we are, at least we have the momentum. We're peppering them with shots, uh, but I'm a little bit worried that we're not getting more goals. Erickson knocks this forward. It's Carlos Albergo, uh, Alberto who tries to um, head that one in. It doesn't quite work. And it's uh, Jao Felix who um, has this for Barcelona, and Breitner just shoves into the ground. How is that not a yellow card? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. You can't just go over and shove a guy down with both hands like that. It's absolutely bizarre. Figueroa here with this over to Alberto, and it's an awful, awful pass. Alberto um, running behind now, and um, that was almost a goal, man. Lev Yashin is very, very lucky he was able to gr grab that one. It was a ball day here bringing this up on um, our right side, and he had a good cross. And what happened here at the end, it was um, uh, Kubala who uh, almost uh, just tapped that one in. And it went up, hit the crossbar, and then popped over into Lev uh, Yashin's mitts. And um, so we got away with that one there. Here's Alberto to uh, Jong Wuyong looking for Charlton, but it's a poor pass. Edwards tries a tackle. That's a bad decision, and um, we have been punished for this here. And uh, Zhao Felix with the um, attempt on goal, unfortunately, we're able to save that. There's Gavi knocking this forward. Um, and uh, we're seeing a lot of the uh, wonder cans here for Barcelona, a lot of uh, familiar names, of course. Um, and uh, it did make me wonder what would happen after we bought Messi off of them. I don't think that they were really playing Messi that much in the first team, but uh, Kubala has scored here. There are uh, words and rumors of offsides, and uh, we'll see what happens here. Was this a goal or not? And they have awarded it. I thought probably it was a goal. It was a maybe a little bit too close to call. Let's take a look and see. And, well, we're just going to see the um, pass there. That There it looks like he was onside pretty clearly. One nothing for Barcelona, and we were kind of expecting something like this to happen, and we don't even get to see if it was a tight offside or not. Um, it didn't look that tight to me. Breitner now to Messi. Messi up to Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto on the right side passes this back to Breitner, and uh, Breitner loses it, wins it again. It takes an insane shot from range. What is he trying to do? So uh, that's really not his game. We don't really want him to do that. He is playing well as a segundo volante, but... Um, I mean, he needs to get a little bit closer than that, please. Monseglio to Edwards, back to Erickson, over to Edwards again. Down to Best. Best knocks that forward for Char Bobby Charlton, and that forces a good save. And um, that was brilliant, yeah, but we could use a goal. So let's see what we get here. Erickson uh, will take this uh, corner. Looking far post to Figueroa. It doesn't get him, and ends up with Breitner. Over to Alberto to Charlton, over to Erickson again. Erickson brings it up down to Jong Wuyong, and um, his shot is deflected out for another corner. So uh, we got another uh, bite of the apple here. Here is uh, Erickson to take this corner, looking far post this time. It's lofted up, and uh, nobody can get ahead onto that, and it's still one nothing for them. 
we need to do something to get back into this match. This is looking pretty poor, and this is just the way that it's been the last couple of matches, and I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on, but we're going to see some fines levied before long if these guys um, can't stay in shape. Briner with this finds Messi. Messi over to Jong Young, and his shot once again is deflected. So uh, this is the problem that we're having. We can't seem to get anybody um, open, and we're taking shots that are really, really low percentage. We're not manufacturing anything, and George Best, I don't think he's touched the ball yet. So uh, we've got a couple of problems. Um, and uh, now we have to uh, play on uh, defense again, and uh, we're not doing a particularly good job of this. Kubala almost scores again, and he does. There it is, and uh, that means it's 2 nothing for Barcelona, and um, this is really, really not what we were hoping for. We're going to have to uh, scold these players here at halftime. This is really bad. So um, kind of funny how this uh, works together. Um, as uh, I'm not sure what my dog is doing. Um, we've got uh, Mars FC having a hard time winning, and we have Manchester United here also having a hard time winning. Um, so uh, let's see what we can do. It's halftime right now, and that was really, really bad. Need to get our act together. We're going to bring a couple of players off. They just look like they're not even trying. Giggs will come on for Alberto, um, who has not impressed me, Alberto, that is, at all. Ronnie Edwards, a new signing, has played horribly in every one of his matches. So we'll put Trezor on. Trezor is not that much better. Um, and Best will come off for, uh, I guess we'll let Davici play in that role. And then uh, Joan Young is not playing well either, so we will uh, pull him off. We'll put uh, Pele, and what the heck, we'll put Dennis Lawn as well, just hope nobody gets injured. Five changes here. We need to uh, go out and win this match uh, because that was absolutely inexcusable. There's no reason for us to play that poorly against this team. We should um, have momentum, and uh, I'm telling you, there are a lot of players who are going to be fined here if uh, we start losing, and uh, we may have to start holding team meetings in which we really, really berate these players for not playing well. This is the fun part of Football Manager, which is that uh, you get to take your anger out on these guys, and they do respond to you. Uh, you may have noticed um, earlier that we did have, and it's 3 nothing. this match is pretty much over. We did have a, a really, really... Um, poor performance um, earlier against um, Red Bull Leipzig. Um, that was uh, a couple weeks ago, I think, like in our time. In the game, it was a couple months ago where we lost 4 nothing and didn't even try. This is looking a lot like that performance. Um, and, um, I mean, I just went and berated the players for playing poorly. Giggs is um, out with something. Pele heads this forward to nobody, and I really hate it when that happens. I hate it when I see these players heading the ball forward into nothing um, for no reason. There's nobody there. What are you doing? Why are you heading it forward? Um, you're not um, avoiding a defender. You're just uh, wasting time and wasting energy, and it's 4 nothing now. Um, and uh, I can't make any more changes because we've already made five, and um, this is getting really, really bad. So, uh, yeah, we can take another look at this. Um, there's not much to see here other than um, the fact that our defenders are not playing well. It was Trezor who hit that forward and set it up um, for Samitie, and uh, that's the end of that. So uh, let's uh, see what we can do here. We'll berate them one more time, and uh, we've fired them up. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see some major fines and a big uh, team meeting. I was saying all along, hey, let's do two seasons with this, but um, if it continues going like this, we might not even get to a second season. The thing I worry about the most is going to administration because if we end up not winning the league, which is what we're looking like right now, um, we get no money. And that's a poor pass from Messi. Giggs wins this now. Breitner will get another shot over to Pele. And I don't know what he's doing. That was ridiculous. Giggs ends up scoring a goal. It was kind of a miracle the ball gets to him as Pele launched that one into the side net. So I'm not sure what's happening. I don't know why Pele is not able to score. We've been relying on him. He's been a workhorse for a while. But, I mean, what was that? You know, that's just ridiculous. For a player who's supposed to be one of the best players in the world, that's absolutely uncalled for and ridiculous and really bad. So uh, fines are incoming for plays like that. What I, one of the things I wish you could do in football managers, I wish you could find players for specific plays, like Breitner, what he just did there to give up the ball. I wish that instead of just finding them for general poor performance, I could say, you went over, you kicked the ball into the side of the net, and when you know you had no real angle on it, like, what are you doing? Wake up. But um, the game's not quite that intelligent to the, at the moment, unfortunately. If FM24 can do that, let me know. Um, and uh, maybe that'll be enough incentive for me to go on. I, I don't know. Um, let's see if we can get this ball off of them. They are just holding on to possession like it's nobody's business. 
Um, and uh, so we'll have to see what happens. This is where the questions come along, where we ask, well, is it the tactic that's the problem? Is it, uh, you know, is it the player morale that's the problem? Is it the fatigue that's the problem? I, I really don't believe that it's the tactic that's the issue, right? We've uh, done a lot of experimenting with different tactics. This one has worked in a lot of uh, situations um, so far. I don't believe this theory that the game will, like, adjust to your tactics or anything like that. I've never seen any proof of that at all. Erickson is injured. I think that the problem that we have are just is just uh, player fatigue. Giggs throws over to Pele, back to Figueroa. Figueroa will take this up to Monseglio, over to Giggs again. Giggs looking for Pele and uh, can't quite find him. And um, that is really going to be the end of this match. One of the regrets that I have, um, and I mean, we may do a project like this a little bit later on, is that I didn't uh, start with the team a little bit further down and that we could build up, which is a lot easier than coming in at the very top and trying to get something that works right away. Davici wins it and loses it. That was unfortunate. Then Law wins it to Davici to Pele. Lumps this forward for Messi, one of the few players who knows what he's doing. And he has a shot on goal on target that um, forces a really good save. Levy Ashin comes way out of the box to head that one. Here's Giggs heading this over, but um, it's going to be too little too late. And um, so uh, we do have our work cut out for us. We remain at the end of this match at the top of the league. But if uh, City won, then we have a problem. And Pele's header is wide of the target. Um, fines are incoming here. And uh, as I said, one of the great... Um, one of the great joys of football manager is being able to really let it out in your players when they do a bad job. I'm very happy that that's a part of this game because um, otherwise, if you play like OTP and you have guys who play poorly, there's so little you can do. It frustrates you to no end. But here, at least you can take it out. And um, there's nothing better than uh, screaming at a bunch of bad players. Kubal is going for his hat trick. That should have been a penalty. That was really bad. Trezor to Messi, down to Giggs. Giggs moves up, looking for Erickson, can't quite find him, and that's the end of that. That's going to be the end of the match here. That uh, It's all over, really, but the shouting. I mean, they'll play around with it a little bit in the back, but um, I think that this is going to be the um, end of the end, and uh, there is the final whistle. So uh, we lose this one 4-1. to one. We actually did better in terms of XG. It was poor by um, uh, our right keeper. Let's see if we can find the rating here. I don't know why this thing is screwed up so much. Levi Ashin had a 6.2, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let him have it. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.